much. We all draw strength uh, from our contact with our constituents. They're our inspiration. Uh, they uh, uh, show us the ramifications of public policy and the rest. Uh, they give us uh, initiatives of national significance to share with others. So we all miss that. There's no question. But the fact is we have to protect them. We have to protect them. And so I would say, again, I don't know what the Republicans are doing. I have no advice for them, except when they come here, they have to wear a mask. But the, um, but the fact is that this, listen to the scientist. The scientists give you the best guidance on how to interact with others. And social distancing is a very important part of it. If the scientists say in a particular area uh, that there is a well, well, well below 1% incidence over a period of time, then there may be a judgment made for that region. But yeah, we all, we all miss uh, uh, the uh, enthusiasm of people with their challenges and their questions and the rest. Since you asked about that, I myself, just don't tell anybody I told you this, especially don't tell Joe Biden, I don't think that there should be any debates. I do not think that the President of the United States has comported himself in a way that anybody should, and, and has any association with truth, evidence, data, and facts. I wouldn't, I wouldn't legitimize a conversation with him, nor a debate in terms of the presidency of the United States. Now, I know that the Biden campaign thinks in a different way about this, but I just, I thought what he did in the uh, 2016 was disgraceful, stalking Hillary Clinton like that. I was disappointed that the press didn't say, go back to your station. You're not here. You don't own this stage. You, are, you have your own podium. She has hers. So I, I think that he'll probably act in a way that is beneath the dignity of the presidency. He does that every day. Uh, but I think he will also belittle what the debates are supposed to be about. And they're not to be about uh, the skullduggery on the part of somebody who has no um, respect for the office he holds, uh, much less the democratic process. Why else would he try to undermine the elections in the manner in which he is doing? So if Joe Biden asked you what I thought about it, I don't think that he should dignify that conversation with Donald Trump. You could have you ask them any questions, both of them, just take their own stage for any number of uh, conversations about any subjects. Hold them accountable. What are they proposing? What is their vision? What is their knowledge? How are you going to get it done? How do they connect with the American people? Let that be a conversation with the American people, not uh, a, an exercise in skullduggery. Thank you all very much. Mm -hmm.